Hey, welcome. This is Jelle from Growing Bonsai. And today we're looking at the Jules. Not about how do you care for them, but we look at the wiring scars, how I did not pay attention, and what you can do to avoid wiring scars when you have heavy branches to set in place that need to be guided for a long time. One hint, it's not about coiling wire around the branch. Yesterday, I pruned back this U. Um, I unwired it after it has had been wired for over a year and you can see the branches have come back up. Now, how can you deal with that? This video is about putting branches in position without wiring it. Now, why would you not want to wire a tree? Well, of course, it's a lot of work, but that's not a good reason for me. A good reason would be that if you leave a wire on for a long time, you can get scarring on the branch. And as said, these branches have been wired for a year, but because it is you, the wood is very flexible. You might know that the longbows made in the UK are all made out of yew wood. In fact, in the past, part of the taxation in the UK was in yew wood because they made the bows out of it. They remain flexible, they remain in shape for a long time. So if you want to move a branch like this down, you really have to wait a long time. So how do you then deal with it? One of the ways you see here on top. I want these two stems to be apart from each other. That's going to take me five, six, seven, eight years. And in fact, if I put a wire on, it will not help. The wire needed is way too strong. Um, there's a lot of tension on this piece of wood and it's just going to stay there for years. Does it look, look ugly? Yes, it does. I had it at hand. It sits in my garden and the tree is nowhere near done. So it will just sit there. Oh, there's other solutions. And one of the solutions that you can use is the use of gee wires. This is how you use them. Sometimes you just use a gee wire to move it in the vertical, but you still wire out the main branch for the shape. And the reason why you do it like this is now I can use a thin wire or relatively thin wire to help the branch set a shape. And that is usually quicker than the growing angle. And then you use the gee wire to keep it down. So now you've got something to shape the branch around the branch. And you position the branch with the gee wire. You can, in a plastic pot like this one, hook a wire at the bottom or to be more certain that stays in place, you make a little hole in the rim. You feed a thin wire through it. You hook it over the branch and you pull the branch down and you put the branch in the position that you want. That way you can leave it in place for two or three or four years without a big risk of the wire being swallowed by the branch. Often called the wire is biting in, which of course is not true. The branch is getting thicker, the wire is in place and the branch just grows around it. It is not the wire biting into the branch, it is the branch swallowing the wire. Having said that, if you have a tree that has a lot of tension on your branch, then it is a good idea to put some protective measures between the gee wire, that's how we call these tension wires. I don't know how to pronounce it. If somebody knows it better, please put it down in the comments because it's one of those words where I've never heard a native speaker pronounce the word. Anyway, between the branch and the wire, you put either some rubber tubing or you can use some mesh. I use mesh that I use in the pots if I really have a lot of tension on a tree or on a branch. Note that even when you're using a mesh like this, you do get some marking of the branch if you leave it in too long. For places where there's a nice side branch, I like to use a little piece of thick wire, place it between the branch that you want to bend and the side branch, and then connect the wire to your anchor point. That way you move the pressure of the wire on two different branches, even further reducing the risk of marking the branch. Where possible, um, try to always connect to pieces of dead wood like this one here rather than to a living branch because all the branch all the wires that you put on a branch can potentially scar so if I go from here I need to go quite far down and indeed maybe even this yin is the closest that I have to put it down but this one won't hold this might make an anchor point won't hold either 
Nope, it will be this one. It's not pretty, but it will hold. That's too far, isn't it? It is. This way uh, you can go through the whole tree. You position every single branch using a combination of uh, gi wires and coiled wires. And in fact, this one, I was going to still show you the other one. As said, you can just use a little hook to hook the branch under the rim of the pot position. In this case, I'm going to go a little bit further up because I want the whole branch to move. And if you can tell, and go down. Now I'm always tempted to continue and wire, but that puts a lot of pressure on this branch. So that's not a really great idea. Just keep with what it is for, just positioning it in the vertical, the horizontal, or in a curve, but don't try to really shape the branch. That really is where wiring is much better. All done. These tension wires, you don't only have to use them to pull a branch down, you can also pull a branch up. Or in fact, if you're really creative, you can use it to put a curve, a smooth curve in a branch. Um, so there's lots of ways that you can use these tension wires. You don't have to wire out whole branches if you just want to move them down. There are easier ways and it is less invasive on the branches. Downside, of course, if you're watering and you have all these wires underneath your branches, um, you have to be very careful when you have a watering can and you want to push it in between because you very easily pull branches down or out of the out of place or maybe even you break them. So there we go. This one is hooked. That one is pulled through. And this one is sitting with a little sidebar and the two main trunks here are kept apart by spreader bar. There's a little webbing used here to pull it down. All in all, this tree has the branches set in a way that I can leave them on for a year or two without really having to worry about scarring. Now isn't that nice? It's a short video. I hope you enjoy the video. Happy wiring or happy not wiring. Keep growing bonsai and see you next time.